Well, how do that, chum? So behind me, you can see I've got a website up. Now, this website is really cool. I'm going to show you it in better detail in a moment, but it helps you with breeding the pals that you need to do stuff. Anyway, let's jump on over into game because I've got some pals breeding right now. So let's head on over here. So I'm hoping to build the best creature, the best pal to take on the actual boss that killed me in last episode, people. Yeah, tower boss free. So the tower boss free is an electric dragon type. So what I want is a frost sort of ground type. So there we go. I just picked up Repto Crist. I'll show you Repto Crist in a moment. I've got another Repto Crist going there. And look at that. I've got three different sort of limited stats. You can't actually see them because my camera's over top of it. But let's go into the power box and I will show you. So out of bread. Uh, where is he? Uh, where are you? Okay, right. Let's go for power deck number. And he should be right near to the end now. There he is. Repto Christ. He's only level one. Let's put him over into my team. Lovely jubbly. Coolio. So we've got him there. He's level one. But he's also got mine foreman, burly body and logging foreman. So he's going to be good for the actual um, base itself. But he is a sort of ice and also earth type. You can see it up there. Freaking awesome. So hopefully he's going to be doing... Pretty, he's just jumped to level freaking six, mate. Heck yes. Awesome. So I want to swap out the bird as well and put in another sort of lovely sort of pal. I'm probably going to go for that one, the frost one. So there we go. I think that's going to be my team for taking on that boss. So I've got Repto Christ, Dig Toys, Mamo Christ, War Sect, and Anubis. So yeah, all ground and ice types. So now I want to get them all over level 40. You can see that Repto Chris is actually going up a fair few levels anyway, but I'm not going to go and fight that boss again until all these have hit level 40. So I'm going to have to do a fair bit of crafting to get the levels up and also go capture some um, pals out in the wild and stuff like that. I have got these two breeding at the moment. So this is a, a little Depresso and I'm breeding it with Boxicle. And what that's going to make is one of those little big bee guys. You know the ones that drop honey? So I can make this into a really cool sort of um, base for breeding. So let's go stick this in there. So yeah, there we are. Get that in the egg incubator. That one's on the go. Got another one on the bake there. And hopefully I can make two more bees to get extra honey. Because sometimes my bee flies out of here, stops doing honey... And goes and does something else, which is really annoying. There he goes. He just flew off again. Look, I've only got six honey in there. So it's honey that I always run out of. Yeah, because my bee... Just keep... Look, where's he going? He's flying over there to do something. He's doing some harvesting or whatever. So a bit dodgy, a bit weird. But there we are. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm going to turn this just into a breeding place soon. So I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of my miners and stuff like that. And just have it for basically doing breeding. And that's it, because my ore farm is giving me all the ore that I need, people. Anyway, let me show you that website, peeps. If I just pop on over into here, turn my laptop screen on, turn my game screen off. So there we go. Boom. I'm over on the actual website. Now, this website is freaking awesome, people, inside of your verse. So, yeah, so you can scroll down. You can, see all, you can get pretty much every single sort of combination you want there. So you can see here, I've selected Bigardi. And it tells me all the different pals that I can breed together to get a build B Guardi. And it's such an awesome website. I guess it is. So yeah, I put a link to this um, website inside of the actual video description. So you can go and hit this one up. Save it as a favourite. It works beautifully on mobile as well. So yeah, you can even look on the go, which is pretty darn freaking sweet. Anyway, so that's, that's this video in a nutshell, really. I'm just doing a lot of breeding here at my actual base. Let me just turn my game image back on. Turn the laptop image off. And how are we getting on? How are you guys doing? So you can see there the old breeding bar is going up rather slowly, which it does anyway. But this one is already ready. Let's go and hatch it. Let's go see what we got. Let's see if we inherited the stats from its parent. Burly body, swift and ferocious is what I got on that one. So let's go and put that one inside of the actual base. Oh, I might not be able to put it inside the base as yet. Uh, well, I can. Just means I've got to ditch something else. So there we go. Let's uh, pick this one up. It's only level one. And let's replace out, say... Well, we've got, we've got some eggs. 
I'd get rid of the, one of the miners because we don't really need ores here anymore. So there you go. Let's put the bee there. And let's go. Is he going straight to the ranch? He is. Brilliant. Well, please start bricking. No, he's just harvesting stuff though, isn't he? All right. Okay. Well, I'm hoping he starts actually doing stuff inside of the ranch. No, he's not. So let's pick him up. And let's assign him to the ranch. Frickin' do honey, mate. And you. Frickin' get back. Stop Stop doing that. Stop it. Oh, great. Right, okay. Alright. They have replaced the actual uh, pickup button with Y. The only thing is, is Y reloads stuff. And if you've got your gun in hand, you end up reloading it and losing some of your ammo. So that, it, a bit of a weird thing there. And look at that, I can't really do too much with him. Whatever he's doing right now, he's stuck in that sort of loop of animation. So yeah, let's head on over. Let's go see how things are going over here. How are you guys getting on? We'll have another egg soon, another little bee. And I can replace out one of my other miners here. Yeah, and we'll just have this as being... A what the fudge is my chicken doing on top of that rock? Why are you even up there? Oh, for fudge sake, people. You see what I mean? Even though we've had the latest patch come out, things are still a little bit janky. I really wish that I built this farm on flat landscape and just made it a breeding ranch. I am thinking about relocating it because I'm, I'm getting them stuck all over the place. I mean, what the fudge is going on? Yeah, I just want a flat landscape, have two ranches, well, maybe one ranch and two breeding pens. That's what I'm thinking and just have it strictly for breeding. Because my other ore farm is so much more productive than this one. Yeah. You know what? I've always wondered what the fudge happens if you disassemble a base from this men menu. Do you get all the parts back or don't you? I'm going to try that next episode. I just want to be breed a couple more bees. And then I think I'm ready to do away with this whole base. And if I do lose everything, I lose everything. And we just have to put that up to experience. But at least I do it so you guys don't have to. All right? So, yeah. Next episode, I'm going to rebuild this base. Which could go horribly freaking Pete Tong. But, you know, might as well do it. Oh, look. This one's now ready to hatch a Kate. Let's hatch a Kate that one. Chicka pow! That one got Foreman Burly Body. But it got two not... It got two grey ones as well. Cold-blooded and insulated. Aha, and there we go. We've got another bee over here. Let's go pick that one up. And kabow. I want one more bee, I think. We'll have three of them. Let's go stick this one in the incubator. Yeah, I could go catch bees. You're quite right. You're probably thinking, why don't you just go catch them? I could. I could indeed. You know what? We need to get some experience. Let's just go massacre some pals that are in nearby vicinity quickly, shall we? Now we've got my team in hand and my party. Right, where is my new guy? This guy here. You know, he's quite low level at the moment. He's only level 18. Right, let's go throw him up against this guy over here. I can kill this guy in one hit with my bow, though. Anyway, let's go throw him up. He's freaking huge. Nice. Are you going to attack him, or do I have to do it? Go on. Oh, nice. You one-hitted him. He was only a level 4. I'm not surprised. A nice one. Go on. So that gets a little bit of experience, I guess, doesn't it? And gave him 963 experience. Go kill these guys then. Come on. Oh, did that just die? It did, didn't it? Uh, you get quite a lot of experience for capturing them, don't you? So let's just try capturing him then. Where'd he go? He just flew right up in the air. I don't know what happened there, people. That was weird. hi -ya! What do you mean? Take more damage. If I hit him once, he's dead. Freaking just get in the ball. You know you want to. There we are. 46% capture rate and he escapes. What the fudge? Just stay in there. You know. I'm only doing this for XP. I'm just going to murder you in a minute. Get in there. And you. Okay, right. So we're at 8 of 10 on them things. What about you? Aha! Let's just try and capture one of them. Get in the ball! Stay in the ball! I've really got to get one more. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, just get in it! Did he escape again? Just get in and stay in before he murders you, right? Oh, look, you got murdered. That's because you didn't just get in the bloody ball. Come on, get in there. I'm just trying to get loads of experience points and level up my um, new guy as quickly as possible, you know? Are you the 10th one? Please be the 10th one. You're going to get murdered if you come out of the ball. Stay in it. There you go, we got 10. That should hopefully give us a bit of a level boost. There we are. Doing quite good with this guy. Yeah, come back into the ball. There we are, not so bad, not so bad. Thank you. Was there some more electric dudes over here? I think there was, wasn't there? Oh, look. Where'd they go? Oh, no, there's, there's one of those, though, a Vixie. Why does it have Japanese text on there? Strange. Didn't have that before the actual patch. Just freaking get in the ball! Mate! Seriously? Yeah, there you are. Now stay in there. There we go. Nice. Not too sure how many we need of them. I think we've, I think we've got all ten. So we didn't get much experience there, to be fair. I'm probably going to get more experience just doing crafting back at my base. But it was, it was a bit of fun just going around murdering a few things. But yeah, I think next episode, relocate my base. I'm hoping somehow we retain all of our sort of materials because it took me ages to make all these beds. I am half tempted to just disassemble the beds at the very least because rebuilding them was a pain in the neck. And we'll see if we get the resources back for everything else. Oh, and also this. This, this was a lot of resources for that. But yeah, I mean, I could de de deconstruct it bit by bit. But uh, yeah, that's going to be painful. And it's going to keep making me over encumbered and all that sort of shenanigans. Anyway, have we got another egg? Nearly got one more egg. Let's just get it then. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Oh, we can probably go and hatch this one, come to think of it. And you know what? We probably don't need another one of those bumblebees now. But I, I get one anyway. Because it's about to freaking go. There you are. Look, nearly done. Let's go pick this up. And... Egg! Any second now, egg will appear just here. Uh, egg? 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 Why, why is it not appeared? Love is blossom. Not enough cake just to finish off the last freaking bit. You having a laugh, mate? All right, well, oh my God. man, I really didn't want to use the whole cake just to get one extra bee, but there we are. There we go. There we go. We've got our last B then. Let's go stick that in here. Chapow! Okay. And you know what? Those two that are in the breeding pen, I can swap those out for bees, can't I? Yeah, yeah, I can. So here we are. Let's get you. My little bee friend. And swap you out for that one. Coolio. And there should be one more bee in here somewhere, I think. Yeah, can't see him if there is. Maybe I haven't got the actual the other bee just yet then. Unless I missed him with my eye peepers. Yeah, I can't see him. Alright. That's all cool. That's all fine. So yeah, we've got all that going quite well to be fair. We can take him out though. And I can replace that one with maybe another we'll put in another cow. So we're getting more milk. There we go. So now we've got three cows. We've got two bees. Or three bees. We've got three bees. And we could swap out, I guess, another one of the miners. Say Anubis. Or perhaps another chicken. I know that feels a little, a little bit crazy, doesn't it? Have I got another chickpea? Have I got another little chickpea? I haven't got another little Oh, I have got loads of them. All right, we want one that's got... There you go, workaholic. We'll swap them out for that one. All right, there we go. And I think that's pretty much it, because we still need these ones in to make food. 
don't overly need him but he does move stuff around so he's quite good for moving stuff around he moves stuff around and waters move stuff around and and plants that one drops the odd seeds i think that's about all we need and this guy to actually bake the cakes all right cool so now we've got that you know what i could do rather than disassemble all of this one i could disassemble my first one we could just disassemble bits of this one you know get rid of that so they're no longer trying to harvest any sort of mining materials and just keep them a little bit more focused to what i want them to be doing even though we've got chickens just sitting on top of freaking boulders. Uh, and this guy sitting on top of a boulder. Right, let's reset them two. Fun times, isn't it? You know. So let's stick him in, in there. And then put him back in. And the same with... I, I've got no way of telling what bloody chicken that is. That's stuck on top of... Oh, is he back down? No, he's not. Right. Let's see if we can just take away this boulder. I have no idea why he's got stuck up there. It's going to take me ages to get rid of this boulder. Anyway, people, I think that's probably the end of this episode. So, you can see there in this episode, I spent a lot of my time doing a lot of breeding and stuff, which it, it's been fun. It's been fun, people. I guess it has. But uh, until next time, people, you've been awesome. I've been the captain of the Steves. Hope you check out this website that's behind me and all that sort of shiz. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Oh, I just managed to free my chicken. Now yeah, look, I, I, I managed to free him. I just hacked it down just a little bit. And he's, he's escaped cage, which is good. Because now I'm over-encumbered. Ah, freaking painful. Anyways, where was I? Oh, yes, I was ending off, wasn't I? Cheery, bye!